Hi, my name is Manali and I work in customer support for PMC MyIT. This video is going to give you an overview of how to add and import assets in MyIT. When you have created locations and the floor maps, you can add asset that user can act on. For example, you might add a printer or a copier asset so that user can tap on the icon and submit the request for toner. You can add assets manually or import in bulk with CSV import. Changes to the asset on the map are automatically saved. When you create a new asset, the icon will automatically appear on the floor map. You can move it to its appropriate location and user in MyIT can see it. This is the example of the floor map and the assets associated to it. The key parameter in adding the asset would be the type of assets, status, a valid email address that is assigned to an asset, if you want to enable the reservation for this particular asset, you must provide a Microsoft Exchange email address. You can also add a tag to select specific assets that have particular actions. And profile image. An image that is used as assets profile. It must be of 320 to 200 pixel or another size with the same aspect ratio. This is an example of a newly created asset. You can also add multiple assets at the same time by importing a CSV file. You can create the CSV file with parameters and the data. In Location Management, go to Assets and click on CSV Import. Choose the file with the location specified or without the location linking. After the import, you will get the message that the asset has been successfully imported. Once the asset is imported, click on the floor map. A button called as Show Unused Asset would be visible to you. All the assets which are imported from the CSV file and not associated with any location would be visible over here. You can select the asset and add to map and configure it further. Once the asset is configured, user would be able to see it on their MyIT clients. Now let's take a look on how we can do this. Go to MyIT Administration Console. Under Location Management, click on Floor Map. Select the location and click on Edit Floor Map. Once the floor map is loaded, scroll down and click on Add Asset. Select the name of the asset, select the type, select the status and save the asset. Once the asset is created, you can also add new properties to it. Move the asset on the map to the appropriate location. Once the asset is added to the map, log into your MyIT console, go to the floor map and open the asset. You would be able to see the all information related to the asset. You can follow the asset for automatic notifications, report an issue or see the FAQ related to that particular asset. You can also add asset in the bulk import from CSV import. Go to location management and in asset section click on CSV import. You can either select the location or click on import without linking. Click on select the file. Configure the asset in the CSV file. Click on choose file. Select the file and click on import. You will get the message that the import is successfully done. Go to floor maps. Once you have loaded the floor map, click on show unused assets. Select the asset and click on add to map. Save the asset and move the asset to an appropriate location. Once the asset is configured, you can see it on the location floor maps. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.